Hi everyone, uh, Walter Bann here. Uh, talking about Streetcar Named Desire, this will be the first of a few lectures um, I'll do out here on my patio. Uh, this is during COVID-19, so usually this would be happening in the classroom. But, you know, uh, let me talk to you about what I know about Streetcar Named Desire. I've been teaching this play for about 15 years. I've read it so many times, I've seen it live, I've seen the movie, you know, I probably have it memorized by now. Uh, don't test me, but I, I know pretty well. Um, but let's talk about the, the play version that Tennessee Williams wrote uh, for uh, Broadway and the version he wrote, the screenplay he wrote for Hollywood. Now, he had to make a lot of concessions. He had to make a lot of changes to suit the censors in Hollywood. Let's talk about a few of them and the significance, okay? Uh, number one, the play opens with Stanley, and it ends with Stanley, right? So Stanley comes in with Mitch from bowling, right, a working class kind of thing, and he throws raw meat at his wife Stella, saying, catch, and he's a man of few words, right? And he says, you know, hey Stanley, what? And he says, catch, and she, he throws the raw meat at her, and she stumbles to catch it. Now you're thinking, why would the censors um, why would Hollywood have such a uh, hard time with this? Well, the meat represents his sexual proudness, right? His, he's throwing meat at her. Okay, we can be adult here, right? This play is very adult, so if you can't handle this, I would turn this off and go watch something else, uh, Harry Potter, which is, you know, dark in it. And so, um, but this play is a lot of what we call trigger warnings, right? It's, it's just, this is an adult play. This is a lot of stuff that we can, you know, of course, it's still in the news in 2020. Um, so they, they wanted that out. Now, so the, the movie version begins with uh, Blanche arriving on a train very cinematically from the smoke, from the, from, the, uh, from, the, from the steam trains. And she's all in white and she's in a dirty, dirty place and she's a stranger in a strange land, right? And of course, a young man, you know, uh, from the Navy, I think it's Navy, uh, offers her a cigarette and of course that's symbolic because the, the role that young men play in Blanche's stunted adulthood right she's she's she stays that 16 year old forever right so we'll talk about that later another major difference in the play is of course the end when at the end of the play of course Blanche says her famous line she's taken away to an insane asylum um, and St uh, Stella is so upset, she takes the baby, which would be wrapped in a blue blanket. We don't see it's blue because it's black and white because Stanley, of course, has a, you know, he demands, he knows he's gonna have a boy because women just only figure for one reason for Stanley, that's sex, um, and take care of his house. Um, but she runs upstairs, angry, of course, knowing that her sister was raped by her husband, right? <laughs> Again, this is serious stuff. Uh, I'm never going back there, I'm never going back. And of course we know she'll probably most likely go back because what other option she, what, you know, she didn't have that many options. Uh, so we feel better, more optimistic that Stanley got what he deserved, but we kind of know that she'll go back just like she always does, right? Um, but in the play version, the last line of the play, they're playing cards. The game is called Seven Card Stud. You know, in the movie, Mitch heroically defends, uh, you did this to her, you did this to her, throws a punch. Uh, but at the end of the play, it's like the, the game is Seven Card Stud. Uh, Stella does not go upstairs. She's upset, but Stanley comforts her, playing with her blouse, putting his fingers in her shirt, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, in a way seducing her again, all right? And she can't resist it, this animalistic desire, right? Uh, another major difference in the play is there's no mention of Alan Gray's homosexuality. There's no reason in the movie version why he commits suicide, all right? This is in a pivotal scene when Blanche tells Mitch what's going on, 
All right, he was just a boy. He was just a boy. It's it's told in this non-linear fashion, um, and in the play version, she says, "I saw him and his older friend together." Right? <laughs> you know, this is their honeymoon, and he catches she catches her husband with an older man, which is their friend, and because. Alan Gray, okay, Edgar Allan Poe, or, well, that will be another lecture, The Gothic Element. Uh, so, and she says, I saw you, you disgust me. And he's so filled with shame, right, that the woman he loves despises him, and he's probably self-loathing too. He's not accepting the fact, this is of course 1950s, this is not 2020, uh, where you can legally get married as a gay man, or a gay woman, uh, and he shoots himself. But in the movie version, it's like, why do you disgust him? We have no idea why. They did not, Hollywood did not want any mention of homosexuality in this play. Now, Tennessee Williams, being what I've read, gay, bisexual, of course, related to this guy, right? He saw himself as the poet, as the romantic, as the sensitive soul, almost like Blanche, and that's another lecture, when we see, you know, what happens to sensitive people in a world controlled by people like Stanley Kowalski or these toxic males, they get crushed, right? They either die or they get sent to insane asylums, all right? Or have to live under the thumb like uh, Stella of, a, of, a, of her husband, Stanley. That's a major, major difference. So those are some major differences. Of course, there's other differences uh, like Greek theater, the, the beating of the wife in the poker scene would take place off stage. This follows the Greek model. You never see violence on the Greek stage. You never see someone die. That changes with Elizabethan theater. There's plenty of deaths on Shakespeare's stage. But in Greek theater, that would always be taking place off stage, and then you'd have it reported on stage. So we don't actually see uh, Blanche getting beat up. Uh, yeah, Stella getting beat up. And we also don't see the rape scene, all right? So you, you don't, you know, who wants to see that, right? So again, that's all like insinuated or it takes place off camera or off stage, right? Um, just for sensitivity reasons. Now, today, it would be a, maybe a diff very different story. Um, so thank you so much. Um, stay tuned for my next lecture uh, and maybe I'll uh, eventually drink this tea.